hey budget squad and welcome back to our channel it's aika and today we're diving into our first cash stuffing for 2024 then as a low-income family we're navigating through the reality of budgeting and i'm excited to take you along if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up and ring that notification bell let's dive into our driving in 2024 terrible things started happening when you walked away so that's why i stay right here so as we jump into this cash stuffing session keep in mind that our bills are on auto deduct through online payments except for my son's tuition which i pay in cash at his school so let's get started for our first cash stuffing of the year so we're going to um move to our variable expenses well these um are the day-to-day -day essential that keep our family running smoothly and each category gets its um designated amount and we stuff this envelope to give every peso a purpose so we're going to get our um variables envelope so this is my variable exp envelope um i switched this at the start of um 2024 because my three hold envelope is quite small to hold my um my coins so some of my um envelopes here has coins so the coins usually fell off so i'm going back to this and with zip locks so let's start so i'm going to change this one because it's a bit rusty already so i'm going to switch this to a sinking fund envelope or binder so hobbs allowance will be getting 1500 and this is the denomination breakdown for our cash envelope so we have 15 pieces of hundreds so one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15, 1,500 pesos here. So I'm going to put this our first cash envelope. There you go. Next is for gas. Well, you know, it is really necessary for us because it's for my husband's day-to-day -day transportation to office. So we have 250, 250 pesos. So we have a leftover from the previous um, half month of January. We still have 100. So we're going to roll over it for our second half of January budget. Next is for food. We have 800 pesos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred pesos for food. And you know, I'm really guilty of sometimes I mean always going over budget with food. I I mean overspending. So I'm trying to lessen it, hoping I can bear with it. So next is beauty. 200 pesos beauty 200 pesos so we still have a leftover so i'm going to roll it over for this second half next for household also 200 pesos You know it's a uh, essential for our living space to be comfortable and functional so just a small amount will do for any unexpected um, um spending so next will be fun which is 100 pesos 
I'm good for fun. But there is our fun and the location here. So next will be our miscellaneous envelope which will have 200 bucks. It's our miscellaneous here. Miscellaneous will have 200 pesos. One, two. That's for our miscellaneous. Miscellaneous next is for our personal, which is 200 pesos. Hundred pesos. One two one one hundred fifty two hundred. So person will be getting two hundred pesos. So here it is. Then next is for fair. We'll be having um fair will be having five hundred pesos. 50, 150, 250, 300, 50, 450, 500. Total of 500 pesos for our um, fare, which is commute. Okay, next is for Zane's um, allowance will be 200 pesos. 100, 200. This is for his snacks or whatever he wants to buy. Next. So we are done with our um, variable envelope. So next is for our sinking fund, which is quite here. So I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to find for our Shopee. I guess we don't have here our shop. Okay, so let's go to um, vehicle registration. We'll be having 50 pesos. Well, it is due on June, so we still have a lot of time to complete this one. Okay. Next is for emergency fund, which is 100. The next is our medical fund here. So our medical fund will be having 100 pesos also. Next is for our cushion. Oh no, our cushion was here. It was different for our um, miscellaneous. So Christian will be having 50 pesos. We'll be having 50 pesos. Then next we go to our recognition. Here. Recognition will be having 50 pesos also. And next is for our, so are we done? Yeah. It just, yeah, we're done with this binder. We're going to go next with our, this one. So Nani's anniversary will be having 50 pesos. It is this um, March. We're celebrating her fifth death anniversary. So next is my alumni. So we have them to pass us for this one. And for Hope's alumni will be having 50 pesos. And next, what else? So yeah. So, I'm just going to put for Shopee here. 
because I think I left my other um, envelope at the other house. So, Shopee is 1,500, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Let's see, it's like this. Okay. So, this will be our Shopee spending. Okay, next is for our housing fund our housing fund of here this one oops so we have been 85 pesos 24 to 60 80 80 pesos for our housing fund. So, as we stuff each envelope, we're taking control of our finances one peso at a time for our total cash stuff. This um, second half of January is 6,200 pesos for our variables envelope and savings and sinking funds. And, and before we wrap up, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And ring that notification bell so that we're going to build a community together. So that concludes our January cash stuffing. If you enjoyed this detailed breakdown, give a thumbs up and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more budgeting adventures. And remember, every peso has a purpose and I can't wait to see you on my next one. Until then, stay savvy and financially fabulous. Bye for now. See ya. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach Your crystal clear, you don't disappear, baby, no So why would I, why would I